This is Eleanor Ostrom. In 2009, she won the Nobel Prize in Economics for her work on common pool resources. Common pool resources are things like forests or fisheries, which require cooperation in order to be managed effectively and to prevent a tragedy of the commons, like overgrazing or overfishing. Ostrom studied hundreds of groups. Some managed their resources well, others mm, not so well. She developed a list of eight traits that successful groups had which allowed them to function effectively. This video is about that list, so here we go. The Eleanor Ostrom Core Design Principles. Principle one, a strong group identity and a sense of purpose. Groups work best when they are defined clearly. Everyone knows who is a member and who isn't, and what all the members are trying to accomplish. Principle two, fair distribution of costs and benefits. Have you ever been part of a group where one member just isn't doing their fair share of the work? It sucks, right? Ostrom found that groups work best when costs and benefits are fairly distributed. Fair doesn't mean that everyone has to work equally hard, or that everyone has the same responsibilities, but it does mean that the people that take on extra responsibility should be fairly compensated. Principle three, collective decision making. When an effective group makes decisions, all members have a say in it. Like in design principle two, this doesn't mean that all members get an equal say, but it does mean that however a decision gets made, all the members need to feel that it was made fairly. Principle four, monitoring. Effective groups keep track of the activities of all their members in order to make sure that all commitments are met. Monitoring ensures that everyone fulfills their role. Principle five, Graduated sanctions. Closely related to monitoring, graduated sanctions make sure that there are consequences if someone does not do what they promised to do. Punishments should be mild at first, just a gentle verbal reminder, but they can be escalated if needed, usually culminating in expulsion from the group if all else fails. Principle six, fast and fair conflict resolution. Conflict is inevitable. In an effective group, there are well-defined rituals for handling conflict, which are believed to be fair for everyone involved. Principle seven, local autonomy. Groups are often nested inside other groups. Groups are most effective when they are allowed to govern their activities on their own without limitation from higher levels. Finally, principle eight, polycentric governance. Because groups always exist in an ecosystem with other groups, the way that different groups should relate to each other should mimic the way that individuals within a group should relate to each other. That is, by following the design principles. So there you have it. Those are the eight Ostrom design principles. The reason I made this video for you is because we are a group, and I think that we will work best and accomplish our goals the most effectively if we can follow these principles as we develop the course. So, in the next video, I'm going to talk more specifically about the design principles and how they are going to structure what we do over the course of the semester.